Hey guys, welcome. Ah, oh, that was on the line. Oh, what a stop! Wow. Fifteen. What a drop shot. Thirteen. Fifteen. Out of shape, clearly. Completely out of shape. Let's take a service. Hey, Frisk. I've been off the tour for too long. Ah, yeah. Have to attack his forehand. Oh, another drop shot. On the line? Lucky. Man, that was lucky. Fasten your seatbelt, folks. I think it's going to be a rough ride. It's going to be a rough ride. Ooh, that was on the line, too. Come on. Uh, on the line, yes. Ah, uh, with bad placement. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my record. Yeah. It's been a while since I played this game, so a bit rusty. Oh, that was a bad slice. Come on. Come on, Raj. So today, just some casual tennis. My favorite tennis game. Tennis elbow. Oh, <laughs> he smashes his racket. They got the joker now. Djokovic. But this is not the, the default standard game. It's an uh, ATP mod. So this game is very open to modding. And I really Let's like this one. Service. Nice backhand on the line, come on. Break point. Kick surf into the backhand, come on. Afraid to go to his backhand. So strong. Rub shot. And lob, come on. Yes! Got him. Ooh. Oh, it wasn't even the break point, it was 30 all. Uh, he didn't he didn't take advantage of that. I was way off the court. Oh, easy mistake. Game. I have to admit I put Djokovic, my opponent, on medium difficulty. Wow, that was an ace. <laughs> yeah, graphics are great, right? I choose the 2D graphics and the background is a proper photograph of the actual center court in Melbourne. That's why it looks so good. If you look at the umpire, it's a photo. It's not moving. Whoa, what a topspin. And a drop shot. Oh, didn't get this one. 
So yeah, you can switch between 2D and 3D cards. And I really like that you can play on an actual photograph of the card. I'll show you a couple of different cards today. And you also have the real voices of the players, the top players at least. So you have the grunt of Djokovic Nadal. And I think the umpire is an Englishman. The voice you are hearing. Oh yeah, I remember. It's someone with Asian background, James Kierthavon. So it's also a proper chair umpire voice. Hello to everyone. Wow, what a serve. Okay, 2-1 for Djokovic. My serve again. The only thing I can't do instantly here is attack like Roger with net play. I have to learn that again. When to come forward. So I have to play the Djokovic game for now. Attacking from the baseline. Not a good balance, come on. Nice serve. Let's attack. Oh yeah, clean volley. That's the way to go, Raj. Again. Out wide. I'm not quite good. What is that? <laughs> what a high slice. Let's attack. Oh no. If you are not positioned well to the ball, you can't really attack, which makes sense. So this is the most realistic tennis game I've ever played. The graphics don't look fantastic if you just play the standard game, but the ball physics are really good compared to other games. And yeah, with this ATP mod, it gives tennis fans a really nice game to play. Let's try drop shot again. Ah, too bad. Break point. Yo, the real slim, PhD. So, break point. Ah, oh, what a serve. Yes. Hey, Petty. You roger that? It's unbelievable, isn't it? It's all the hard work. Let's put some shots like that. It really does hurt the confidence. Second serve. Yes, strong second serve, body serve. Oh, I think that's the, the right difficulty for me for now to get into this game again. Played it years ago. And now I just installed it on my new computer again. And I think I've never streamed. Oh, that was a bad slicing. Drop shot. Let's try the lob. <laughs> Perfect lob. Maybe Djokovic's weakness, the overhead, the smash. And the volleys. Let's try another one. Oh, passing shot, yeah. Good stuff. Two all. Lucky team. Hey, tactical. So, a really tight game here. Let's take a service. Hmm, on the line, nice. I don't really know if I play one set or best of three. Surely not best of five. 
can't remember the settings, but I will show you different cards against different opponents. So, guess what's next after Australian Open against Djokovic? For all the tennis fans out there, that was a poor drop shot. Oh, Punished. That's just magnificent. 15, 15. <laughs> racket. Yeah. Yeah, this is my racket in the background or um, beside me. My current one I play with. Ah, come on. 1540. Break point. Deuce cord. Ah, he still finds my backhand. Okay. The add cord. Ah, he serves into my forehand. That's not good, Djokovic. Novak. Shouldn't do that. Ah, I still guess the point. Juice. Just have to focus more. Ooh. That's not what I wanted. Unintentionally high. A long line backhand let me down. Damn, I had two break points. Come on, attack. High top spin. Push him down. Yeah. Juice. <laughs> Correct frisk. That's my next one. It will it will sound super realistic. So already looking forward to it. No! Advantage. So close. It's very hard to break through his defense. Game. He couldn't break through. 3 2 Djokovic. Uh, I can't really remember exactly how to do the serves well here. So, big advantage of Rogers is missing right now. Drop shot! Oh no, I wanted to do a drop shot. Ah, oh, come on, don't run around every time. <laughs> okay. Sometimes the volleys look a bit messy, but the outcome was as great as always. Roger is one of the best volleys on the tour, at least of the top guys. Hey, Kazuya. Good down the line backhand. Oh, yeah. A comfortable service game so far. 40 love. Good depth. Ah, uh, that was a bad shot. Now I'm in the defense. Let's try drop shot again. And lob. Ah, uh, he he's still behind. <laughs> but I got the mistake. Okay, three all. What I will show you now is the 3D chord. Ah, uh, that's wrong. Here we go. So now, let's see the difference. So this is the 3D graphic. How do you like this one? Do you think it's worse or better? Ah. I, I personally prefer the 2D chord because of the actual photograph of the stadium. By the way, do you hear the game sound, Frisk? Maybe I should switch back. I'm a worse player in this 3D graphics. Ah, 
1315. Let's take a service. Still in the game, thirty all. Come on. I think I'll switch back after the service game. And I will only do one set against Djokovic on this court. Oh, what a cross court rally. Now it's time to attack. Come on, Raj. Oh no. Wrong button. That was anticlimactic. Okay, so I should switch back to the 2D chord. Yeah, that's better. Nadal and sound, yeah. <laughs> it will be a treat. Oh, come on. Love your team. No, I think the button mapping is not accurate for the slice. Oh, I'm doing doing something. Uh, I'm doing something wrong, definitely. Uh oh! Come on, Roger, put it away. <laughs> <laughs> no. 15, 13. Come on. Fifteen forty. Damn it! Break points against me. Oh wow! To run really far. No, he broke. Game. He broke serve five three. And he's the king of Melbourne. Love your team. Button. Oh, easy mistake. Love 30. Maybe I still have a chance to come back. Come on. Yes, Love 40. Let's go. Let's go. Come forward. Oh, the tennis ball. <laughs> the tennis ball fell off my couch. There was some special effect during the rally. Drop shot. Yes, I broke back. <laughs> and he's smashing his racket. Hey, breaking rocks. Oh yeah, I dressed up. <laughs> so still in the set. Come on. No. Ah, oh, come on. 
Put it away. Oh, my volleys are so, so rusty. Forgot how to put them away as winners. Wow, great, great shot. Yes, 15 all, come on. 15 all. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed these casual streams from time to time. Oh yes, what a winner. Clean forehand. Come on. Yeah, I ran around. Just hit, still hit the forehand. With top spin. Oh, the angles. Oh, that was bad, Djokovic. Bad choice, Novak. He had the open court. And let me in again. Yes! Come on. Make it 5 all. Ooh, it's still in. <laughs> no, I can't do the proper slice. I want a short or low spicy one. Ah, it's no danger if I hit the mid call. Yes, 5 all. <laughs> I hope it's not bad luck. I couldn't place it anywhere else. Uh, or it would have been out of the, the camera view. So I put it on top. Oh, what is going on with these slices? Yeah, that's a good slice. Even with the forehand. Come on. Yes. Fifteen all. Ooh, nerves. He's shaking. Speeding man of Germany, champion of card, swoops up through the rankings, but he is good to start. Yo, and thank you very much for your subscription. Sorry, Roger's busy right now. Give me a second. No, unintentional. Have to do something about the button mapping for the slice shot. Come on. Yes. So yeah, thank you and for 26 months and all your support, all your help here. Appreciate it very much. Second service. Break points, 15-40. Oh, he makes a double fault. I was 3-5 down, breakdown. Now I'm serving for the match. I don't know if this game only takes it as a set, but I will change courts and opponent after this set, no matter the outcome. No! Don't get broken now, come on, Roger. Oh, that's my first double fault. Ah, oh, come on. Let's take a service. Ooh, on the line. He puts Love it 14. on the line. 
Can you believe it? La 40. This set is really crazy. Still two break points to save. Oh my god. No. Come on, Roger. Ooh, that was a bad backhand. No. Game. Tie break. Tie break. We both lost serve twice. Oh yes, come on. Mini break. Yes, out. <laughs> hey, Lars. Prediction for the football match. No. Yeah, I hope they won't get uh, two or three goals against them before we. So I would say. 3-1. Same here in the tiebreak. Ah, that was an easy mistake. 3-2. Ooh, on the line. Stop! Drop shot. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Couldn't get me with that one. Too long. Good second serve. Oh, yes. <laughs> he smashes his racket again. Can't handle the frustration like in real life. He's known for smashing rackets, throwing rackets away. On the line, come on. So, uh, Roger and, and uh, Rafa have more composure. 5 3. Ah, no, not what I wanted. But I'm still in it. Come on, to the back end now. Shot. Not good shot placement to come forward to the net. 5-4. Oh, thank you very much. Match point. 6-4. Come on. That's it! <laughs> he even falls to the ground. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. You say 2-0? Two, two late goals? Okay. <laughs> Tennis arm, yeah. <laughs> okay, wow, that was very close. That set took a long time, 28 minutes. Nice. So now we move on to uh, Roland Garros, the French Open in Paris. And who else could be my opponent? Then uh, Rafa. Rafa Nadal.
so that level was quite good. I'll do the same difficulty. Then uh, the Djokovic match. The doll? What do you mean, the doll? He in the background? No, unfortunately, it's not a joke. Ah, okay, in the game. Um, no, it's no joke. Roger had two surgeries last year and he underwent another one on the knee. So he is literally on rehab. He just turned 40 and still wants to come back, which is great to hear. So his career won't end in uh, many, many injuries. I don't have the hope that he comes back very strong again, but he comes back for at least a few more tournaments. So, let's wait for the Nadal grunt. Where is it? Ah, there it was. Yeah. If it's not loud enough for you, <laughs> I can turn it louder. Oh, yes. Oh, no, no, it's not me. I'm not on rehab. Don't worry. I'm fine. I was... Last time I was on the court was yesterday, or on Friday rather, when I played. Yesterday only some teaching. Whoa, out. Game. Wow, there was an ace. What an angle. Let's take a service. No, no, no. <laughs> Just enjoy playing this game from time to time, but it's been it's been a while since I played it. I can really feel that this chord is a lot bouncier and slower. Also a great aspect of this tennis game that the chord speeds are very, very different. Wow, tough to go against him here on clay and break through the defense. A VR tennis game? No. I just go outside on the courts. That's all I need. Ooh, I couldn't see the ball. I play a bit against the sun here, so you have to wait until 2-1 or 3-0. Then we change ends again. Okay, let's play the topspin game with Rafa. But I have to find his backhand. Out. 40, 15. Let's take a service. Come on, don't bounce the ball too long. It's like in real life, he takes forever until he serves. Although I have much respect. Ooh. He's so 40, superstitious 15. if you didn't know. Rückhand is backhand. Forehand is forehand. Almost the same word. Wow, so far back. Ooh! Deuce. From 40 love to deuce. <laughs> That's the real Nadal grunt. Advantage. These are original recordings from the players. 
So if you play against Nadal on the tour, he sounds like that. What a drop shot. Why did he run around? Oh, I still make the point. <laughs> he ran around the forehand to hit a backhand on the right side. That it's, uh, that's something he would never do. Ah, too much. Drop shot. Oh, that was a good one. You played another one. Oh, wow. Great counter. You also played a drop shot. It's amazing when you get confident how you always seem to make the right decision. Also, the um, commentators, uh, well-known commentators for English channels. I think one of them is Robbie Koenig, South African. So they have everything. The real voices of the players, the grunts, the umpires, commentators, the stadiums. And for me, personally, the most realistic ball physics. 15 -0. Can't wait to change ends. It's visually quite difficult to react to these shots. Uh, 15, but yeah, it's realistic in tennis that one side, if the sun is out, has a bit worse vision. Wow. Heavy spin, but too long. And Tennis Elbow 4, the sequel of this game, is in development right now. What a drop shot, come on. Yes. So maybe I will get that as well. This game is not only open to modding, but also improving it so the de developers release an early version one is out since a couple of weeks i think and then you can play for a low price and give them feedback to even improve them while you s while you already play it okay again 2-1 and it's really nice that they are so open to modding it getting all the pro players and the cards in second service Oh, I forgot. We have sound options um, to get French. I don't know if you, I can change it mid-match. We will see. Because we are in Paris. I mean, they don't speak English here. They don't tell you the score in English. Ah, it's too late. I should have done it before the match. Zero quinze. I have to do it manually. No! 15 0. Kanza. Ooh, that was great. Come on. Follow up. No, I I forgot the volleys, how 13, to do it. 30 15. Don't play into his forehand, Roger. Not a good idea. Oh. Ah, damn it. 40, 40. 40. But you definitely have to have good reactions here, good reflexes. 
we want to be good at this game. 40 30. 40 30. Wow. No way to get that ball, that ball. I didn't make it to Egalité, sorry. Oh no, that was too much. So if you're not in the best position, you hold the directions on the joystick. For too long, you miss. It's also something I experienced for other tennis games I played. Played a couple over the last decade. Some games are way too forgiving. You can just reach the ball from every everywhere and you put it back. But then they also sometimes lack the feature to really attack a ball. It's almost the same every time, no matter how you play. <laughs> yeah, I love 15. There's a joke about a tennis player joke. And I'll tell you after this uh, rally. Come on, put it away. No, what is this? Oh no, what is this volley? <laughs> so yeah, don't get into a relationship with a tennis player. Because love means nothing for him. No! He broke me. <laughs> it would happen in real life. I mean, there was one easy volley and Nadal was on one corner, in one corner of the court. Surely the heavy spin, wow, what was that? The vision is so bad. The heavy spin is not easy to uh, play a volley against, but I think he would have put it away. Now I'm falling apart. I mean, but it's one of the most difficult things in pro player tennis to win a set or even a match against this guy on this court Philippe Chatrier in Paris he did it several times but never a whole match I mean Nadal has a surreal record here the greatest clay court player of all time I think he lost three matches in 14, 15 years. Maybe 16 years by now. Yeah, it should be 16 years, 2005. So he played this tournament 17 times. I think he only lost three matches twice against Djokovic. Once against Zöderling, the Swede, in 2009 when Roger won it, and then one tournament he had an injury and pulled out. Come on! That's out. Nadal is Abney? <laughs> Nice back and come on. Ah, that was not the right moment to go forward. The other Avni. <laughs> okay, 2 4. Wow. I love the team.
15 old. Wow, that was so close. Yeah, like I said, the standard game looks less appealing. But this is a modded version from 2016. So all the stats which players are on the tour and how the courts look are from 2016. So I think they made Djokovic the best player because he had awesome seasons in 2015-16. He was very, very dominant. And Roger came back very strong. Wow, what a drop shot. In 2017, Nadal as well. They both were leading the pro tour that year. Good times again. When Roger came back from a half year break because of an injury. And then he won the Australian Open in five sets against Nadal. And won Wimbledon. So his last great, great year. Although he was number one shortly in 2018. Where he also, when he also won the Australian Open in another time. His last Grand Slam title. For now. Yeah, it's a PC game. Yeah. I don't know if it's also available for any console, but I think it's only PC. Why not the latest tennis elbow game? I just explained it's still in development. You can get access to the current version and the developers are open for feedback. I think it's from this year, but it doesn't matter if 2020 or 21. But that game is only the standard raw version without the ATP players and the courts and so on. So this is a modded version, an ATP mod from 2016. When there will be a new ATP mod for the latest tennis elbow game, I definitely will have a look. All right, let's focus on the break points here. You don't get many against this guy. He's an animal on this court. Oh no, come on. Will he do the lefty serve into my backhand? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like in real life. That's a good one. I broke him. Game. Quatre jeux partout. Allez. Allez, Roger. I can hear the crowd cheering him up. I mean, they respected Nadal a lot, but if a guy wins 13 times here and someone else who's the fan favorite in general has a chance to win, uh, they drop twice. Then they went crazy. The French crowd is also very special because they start to boo and cheer somebody down or wow, go against him very quickly. At least I experienced it more than in any other country. Oh, come on, I'm leading. I thought I would lose the set, but I'm still in it. What a return. <laughs> Typical Nadal. Out of nowhere. He has so much power. Ah, couldn't take advantage of that. No, break point. 
Damn it. He found my backhand. Can I escape from that? Brave. Yeah, go down the line. Deuce. Deuce. Egalité. Ooh, that's out. Advantage. Avantage Federer. Let's take a service. Yes, that's long. Game. Jeu. Federer. Federer men. Cinq jeux à quatre. Let's for service. Fifteen love. That was a great second serve. That was not the best drop shot. <laughs> Thirty love. Uh, wow, great. But good defense. I'm still in it. Oh my god, what's, what was that? Great rally. Miss it. Thirty fifteen. Oui. <laughs> à l'école. I had French a couple of years in school. It's over a decade ago, and I was only once in France, so I really didn't practice it ah, in public. But yeah, I had it. Forty fifteen. Actually, I memorized these sentences from watching tennis on TV. Still in it. Forty thirty. Quarante trente. No, mon dieu. Cinq jeux partout. Another long, long set. Overtime. Ah, oh, that was too much. Love the team. 22 shots, very long, long exchange. Oh no, that's so good. Yeah. Damn it. No! My positioning was bad. I'm in danger. Let's take a service. Oh. Good, that didn't bounce in. Let's Another take second a serve. I can't risk too much. Oh, that was good. Let's go. Come on, Roger. Ali.
Ooh, no. He had a very good defense shot. Come on. Ali. <laughs> From Love 40. Ah, no. Terrible shot. Drop shot. <laughs> Counter drop shot. Lop. Yes. <laughs> Advantage. I can't uh, do the Australian accent. And I already played the Aussie Open. I started the stream with a match against Djokovic. Where I was 3 5 down and 6 5 serving for the match and won it in the tie break. So the next and also last match, because I'm running out of time, will be Wimbledon. But you guys, you could decide. Hey, time. You could decide against. Oh, my racket. Against which player? Should I play in Wimbledon? Because the true king of Wimbledon is Roger himself. I didn't see that. And it's not an option that I don't play as Roger. Just to make that clear. Ooh, two points away from taking the set. Away from the king of clay. Ooh! Nerves. 15, 40. 40. Come on. Come on, Roger. Ooh, second Let's serve. Second service. He's afraid. <laughs> I shouldn't shouldn't have said that. Thirty four. Ooh, lucky. Very lucky on the return. Game set match. Jeu. Image. Jeu manche. Image. I don't know what they say. 7 5. Set sunk. Wow. Also, historical ones. I could play against Pete Sampras if you like. I think that's a good idea. Here are the players I have. So Andy Murray is possible, but I think Sampras is the one to go with. Do I have them? Do I have him? Oh no. Looks like I don't have Sampras right now here. Um No. I think I overwrote a few players with other active players, so I don't have him. Vavrinka. <laughs> the funny old guy, you mean Barami? No, I don't have him. Sorry. So, hmm. who's my pick? Yeah, let's pick Stan. Why not? He was never the best on grass, but... Or Murray. What do you guys think? Stan or Murray? Alright, let's just pick Stan. He deserves it. So I think the difficulty beginner is easy. I think the best club junior pro. 
The best I ever was able to play was pro and then a low sub level of pro. Then we have master and incredible. Incredible, I knew the developer said is beyond what you should be able to, to do in this game. Yeah, two Swiss against each other now. The fatigue should be enabled to both. Yeah, so if the, the railing gets longer, they get a bit tired. All right, let's let's go. I have 20 minutes left, 25. And we change the chord to Wimbledon. And no French sound. I have to go back to English. Or the Brits would kill me. Okay, so last match. Here we go, Wimbledon center court. It's also a different ball sound. At least that's what I remember from this game. You have different sounds. Depending on where you play. Because of the surface, the stadium, the surroundings. Oh, it's nice to play against someone with a one handed backhand. The only way to go. <laughs> come on, come forward. Oh, bounce twice. And they really paid close attention to the service motion from the top players. So really love to detail here. Ooh. 15, yeah, Stan is not the best at the net. He's great on slower surfaces from the baseline. It really feels like playing against Stan because of his grunt sometimes. If you are someone who watches a lot of pro player tennis. Great. What a shot. Should have come to the net maybe. Ooh, so close. Break points. I hope I will uh, get the set done a bit sooner. 7-6 against Djokovic in Australia and 7-5 against Rafa in France. Almost half an hour, I think, each. Great start. Oh, he smashes his red. It must be a later round of the tournament. Look at the grass at the baseline. It is worn out. So you only have the dirt of the earth. <laughs> Especially around the service positions. Almost nobody comes to the net these days, so the grass is almost fresh in the service box. Let's change that and come forward. Hmm. Love 30. Good serve. 15, 30. Mm, another one. That's how Roger does it. He gets out of trouble by a nice serve. And normally, usually, if necessary, nice second shot. Stays aggressive. Very good. Oh yeah, Game. Federer, Federer leads, two games to love, first set. What a slice, great. Stands back and signature shot, but he let me in. 
Oh, nice. It is still passing. Oh, he plots me. Thank you. Great respect between these two friends. Who won the Davis Cup final together for Switzerland. And Olympic gold back in 2008, Beijing. Ah, oh, come on, pass him. Ah, great volley. <laughs> Stan is no match, we will see. He shouldn't be, especially on grass. I mean, these stats are from 2016, not Roger's best year. And I would say one of Stan's biggest years. He won three Grand Slam tournaments. If I get it correctly, it was 2014. Wow, great drop shot. Australian Open, 14. Then the French, 15. And US Open, 16. So these were the biggest years for him. And the Davis Cup was in 2014. So his first big year. Wow, ace. Game. All right, but still one break for Roger. Oh, it's just like a painting. Two one handed backhands. Classic. I really like that there are some one-handed backhand players on the tour from the younger generations. It's not only Roger and Stan. You have Dominic Team from Austria, who won a Grand Slam last year. You have Stefanos Tsitsipas from Greece, who is just a bit over 20, I think. Oh, no. And guys like uh, Shapovalov from Canada, also very young, aggressive style. So it's good. The one-handed backhand don't uh, doesn't go uh, extinct. Extinct. That's the word. You know what I mean. It doesn't die. Oh, come on, pass him. Yes. 3 1. Great volley. Yeah, it bounced twice already. <laughs> the crowd was applauding. He got me out of the screen. Oh, what an angle. But my advantage, come on. Yeah, that was grass court tennis. Come on. Got you. Wow. Great angle. <laughs> Such a bad follow up. It's either me or the game that you can't really take advantage of these situations. Nice angle. Deuce. Still deuce. Still in the game here. 
I break twice, that should be decisive already. Advantage. Yo, hey Pullman, hey Verboten. Okay, only one break. That'd be good to serve. Oh, great return. No chance to get that one. Let's take a service. Let's. Let's that service. was a let, not the first one. What the hell, Stan? You're playing out of your mind. And then you miss an easy ball. <laughs> Great rally. Yes. This is on PC. Playing with a USB controller. Cheap one, but it does the job. Oh my god. <laughs> but he made the mistake. Fall two. I hope I keep this break. Yeah, open court. He doesn't even try to run there. <laughs> oh my god. Why didn't I hit that ball? Good depth. Really long. Let's take a service. I didn't turn around. Gotcha. It was bad footwork. Damn it. 40, 30. Okay, juice. Juice. Let's make it five two. Mm. Wow. Yes. No chance. Advantage. Too short. Oh. I anticipated that one. Yeah. I knew he was going cross court. Yes, 
sorry, left net court. Yes, that's the break. Hey, KCC, backhand smashes. Um, I think I saw one. I'm very rusty at the net in this game here, so I rarely approach it, although I should. And I had no smash myself, just the opponent, when I tried lobs. Ooh, out. Two points away. Let's persist. Great backhand. Match point. Kick to the backhand. Come on. Not even close. Too much. Slice out wide. Come on, finish it off. Yes! <laughs> they asked me if I want to play <laughs> the tougher opponent. <laughs> but I can manually change it. Alright. Yeah, it was against Wawrinka. Stand the man. So I did 7-6 against Djokovic, 7-5 against Nadal. Australian Open, French Open on clay. And here, Wimbledon Grass against Wawrinka. And who won? <laughs> Roger, every time. All right, so I'm running out of time, guys. This was just a short, spontaneous stream. And uh, mainly to let you know that I love tennis and that uh, you should not, shouldn't expect a stream from myself next weekend. But the week after, so in two weeks from now, I should be back. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little spontaneous one, different game, but yeah, that's my my biggest um, sport activity, my biggest hobby outside, and sometimes at the TV playing or watching tennis, as some of you already know. So thank you all for watching, see you next time, have a good time, and bye-bye.